हेलो एवरी वन सो वी विल कंटिन्यू अर डेटा इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन पार्ट सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर सिक्वर रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू आर्स द पाइथन इन अ पाइथन व्हाट काइंड ऑफ द क्वेश्चन जनरली आस्क इन इंटरव्यू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई हैव अ कपल ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट इज जनरली आस्क इन इंटरव्यू दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सो आई हैव फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन लाइक राइट अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू चेक द गिवन नंबर इज अ प्राइम और नॉट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज लाइक राइट अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड आउट द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ अ गिवन नंबर सो लेट्स सॉल्व वन बाई वन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लाइक राइट अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू चेक अ प्राइम नंबर सो वाट इज अ प्राइम नंबर अ प्राइम नंबर इज अ नंबर दैट कैन ओनली बी डिवाइडेड बाई इट सेल्फ एंड वन सो यू कैन सी वी हैव अ टू थ्री फाइव सेवन इलेवन थर्टीन सेवनटीन दिस आर द प्राइम नंबर सो यू कैन सी सेवन सेवन कैन ओनली बी डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन एंड इट कैन ओनली बी डिवाइडेड बाई वन so 7 is a prime number 11 11 is only can only divided by 11 and it is only divided by 1 means it is a prime number so for that we have to write a logic so how actually we will write a logic so i will define one function prime i will pass parameter n now what actually i will do i will give one condition if n is 0 or n is 1 that is my first condition if n is 0 or n is 1 it means it is not a prime right so not a prime so this is the condition first i am writing after that i am writing another condition another condition is like if n is greater than 1 in this case what i will write i will try to look for i in range 2 to n 2 to n and if and percentile i equal equal to the 0 means flag equal to the 0 and i will break it let's try to understand this so what actually i am doing suppose anyone has suppose anyone given you you have to find out whether 11 is a prime number or not so in this case what will happen n is 11 right n is greater than 1 means it will directly come into this particular condition in this case what actually we are doing we are doing a range from a 2 to n 2 to n means 2 to 10 like 2 to n means 2 we are looping it right 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 like it is starting with a 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it will perform an operation now what actually it will do it will try to divide n percentile i n percentile i means first it will try to divide by 2 this given number n percentage i means 2 means First, it will check whether 11 is dividable by 2 or not. If it is a dividable, means remainder will be 0 and it will break it. But 11 is not dividable by 2, right? Means it will not satisfy this condition. Now, it will check for the 3, whether 3 is divided by 11 or not. It is not dividable, means it, this condition also will not true. Similarly, it will check for the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this condition means what actually we are doing, doing we are starting with a 2 and uh, we have to find out for the 11 right. So it is starting from 2 to 10 and it is trying to divide this number with the 2 to 10. If it is a dividable means it is not a prime number. If it is not dividable means it is a prime number. So that we are writing and we are making flag 0 means. So let's define one variable flag equal to the 1. When I am saying flag 1 means it is a prime number. So by default I am saying the given number is a prime number. And after that I am writing if the given number is dividable by any number from a given range. It means it is a not a prime number. If it is a not dividable then it is a prime number. So that is the logic I have written. So what I will do if flag equal equal to the 0. If flag equal to equal to the 0. it means not prime not prime else print prime else print prime so i hope you got the idea how to write a code for the prime number now let's try to check prime suppose i will check for the 11 whether 11 is a prime number or not it is a prime number so i am getting a prime Let's check whether 10 is a prime number or not. It is not a prime number. So 10 is not a prime number. So that's how we have to write a code for the prime number. Now let's see another question. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज लाइक राइट अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू फाइंड द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ अ नंबर वाट इज अ फैक्टोरियल ए फैक्टोरियल इज अ फंक्शन दैट मल्टीप्लाइज अ नंबर बाय एवरी नंबर बिलो इट टिल वन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट अ फैक्टोरियल फॉर थ्री देन वाट विल बी द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ थ्री थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन दिस इज द फैक्टोरियल मीन्स सिक्स थ्री फैक्टोरियल इज सिक्स सपोज यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ अ फाइव देन वाट इट विल हैपन फाइव इंटू फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन दिस इज द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ फाइव मीन्स वन ट्वेंटी फैक्टोरियल ऑफ फाइव इज वन ट्वेंटी सो दिस एक्चुअली वी हैव टू राइट अ कोड फॉर दैट टू फाइंड आउट द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ अ नंबर सो वाट वील डू वील ट्राई टू डिफाइन अ फंक्शन आई एल गिव द फंक्शन नेम एस अ फैक्ट एन एंड वाट वील डू आई एल चेक इफ एन इक्वल विल टू जीरो और एन इक्वल इक्वल टू वन देन रिटर्न वन else else what we will do we will try to else return n into fact n minus 1 so what actually i am doing so suppose i have to find out for factorial 5 so what actually it will happen it is not a 0 and 1 right so 5 is greater than 1 in this case what will happen it will come here so what actually it will do 5 into fact n minus 1 means it will do 4 then 3 then 2 and then 1 once it will become 1 it means 0 and it will return 1 right so that's how actually it is working now if i had to find out for the given number suppose 5 let's see what is the output i am getting 5 factorial is a 120 suppose i had to find out factorial Six. What is the factorial six? Seven twenty. So that is the output we are getting. Now, if you want to debug more and if you want to see how actually it is working, so what I will do? Let me try to print n and let me try to show you how actually it is working. So you can see the we have to find out for the factorial six, right? So in this case, what actually happening? It is coming here, and uh, for the six, uh, what will be the return? I will get six into six into fact 5 this is the output i will get here in a return now what is this fact 5 so if we'll try to find out fact 5 in this case what will happen our uh, this will be the return right so in this case what will be happen uh, fact 5 output will be the 5 into fact 4 fact 4 so the fact 5 is equal to the uh, uh, 5 into fact 4 now what is the output for this fact 4 the output of the fact 4 is a 4 into fact 3 fact 3 so this is output for the fact 4 this is the output for the fact 4 now what is the output for the fact 3 the output for the fact 3 is a 3 into fact 2 3 into fact 2 this is the output now what is the output for the fact 2 it is a 2 into fact 1 now what is the output for this fact 1 when it is a 1 right then we have to return 1 so in this case what will happen it will become a 1 and we will get the outputs so like that actually it is working so i hope you got the idea please do practice you will get better idea